Hello, beautiful people. I'm PR Jules. I help experts and influencers attract qualified leads by booking them to speak on podcasts, shows, and stages. Today, we're discussing digital PR. PR stands for public relations. So let me ask you this. Would you like to make a positive impact? Raise your hand. Now, would you like to positively impact the world? Wouldn't that be cool? I invite you to get featured on Positive Impact TV show, podcast, and magazine, the sponsors of this episode. So let's get back on track. Let me ask you this. How do you currently attract clients into your business? How do you find your clients? Is it through traditional marketing, digital marketing, word of mouth, maybe organic social media growth? Are you trading your time for money? Let me get a little bit deeper into these concepts. So traditional marketing, as we all know it, billboards, flyers, direct mail, any kind of printed media used to work. And it still does for some businesses, especially those who are location-based. And um, most digital businesses or service-oriented businesses, anybody who's serving a global audience, wider audience than they used to, thanks to the pandemic, enabled us to use methods like Zoom and more of the internet to connect with people all over the globe and help those people who need our services all around the world. So digital marketing is now prevailing. I'd say it's probably number one method of advertising and finding clients for a lot of people, but probably nobody told you how expensive it is, how difficult to set up and how little it can really guarantee. Now, social media marketing is similar to that. Organic growth is achieved by posting daily, staying in tune with the algorithms and how they're changing and making sure your content complies to all the rules that don't ban you from being put in in front of other people's audiences. So it, it can get really tricky, really frustrating, and it's very slow. Some of the influencers that you follow have been there for a decade or more. If you look at their start date on their profile, it will go back a long, long time. Nobody gains thousands and millions of followers overnight. It takes dedication and work and time. So back to my question, are you trading your time for money? Social media requires a lot of effort, making reels, making videos, creating content. It is a full-time job. You probably know that if you're doing that already. And how little does it really tell people about you? How little of an opportunity do you get to really talk about your business and the value you offer? What if you use direct messaging, for example, as we are primarily a primary way of attracting clients? You might have found some interesting people, start a conversation with them on direct message, you're maintaining that conversation. It takes time and effort again and a lot of energy. And maybe some of those people will eventually convert into paying clients. But again, nothing's guaranteed. It takes time to develop every relationship. Nothing wrong with developing relationships, but we're talking here about optimizing, right? About using less time to achieve greater results. What other methods could you be using? You could potentially be using email drip campaigns. You could be using newsletters, monthly, weekly, daily newsletters. A lot of people unsubscribe from those. We are bombarded. Our mailboxes are exploding from marketing emails. So often you open your inbox and you see emails from people you've never heard of. Well, your name could have been sold to somebody else's list. And now they are bombarding you with their offers. And you have no idea who that person is. And in this day and age, it's very important to know Who is the person behind the product, behind the service, behind the brand? That's the expression personal brand, right? We stand behind our brand. I stand behind Positive Impact TV. I started it because I wanted to make a greater impact. Not with my message necessarily, but with the messages of those people that I feature on my show. The change makers, the impact makers, people who want to make this world a better place, either for other people or for other businesses. They have that drive to improve our lives. So I stand behind them. That is what gets me out of bed 
is to put them on an episode, get that episode marketed, get them to reach as many people as possible. So what drives you to get out of bed? Is your business one of an impact? Are you creating a positive change, a positive movement in this world? Or are you thinking of that one person behind the screen who is listening to your message and they're deeply touched? Because that's what happened to me when I was going through depression and anxiety. That's what happened to me. There were a few episodes I still remember, a few YouTube shows I watched that changed my life, that literally pivoted my life into a different direction from self-pity and victimhood to empowerment. So don't underestimate the power of being visible and sharing your message. Now let's talk about what's the most effective way of doing that. Well, in traditional PR, traditional public relations, you would have done that maybe from a billboard. You drive on the highway, you see all these beautiful billboards, but you know, the attention, attention span, of people who are driving, obviously, or the passengers, it gives you a couple of seconds really to, to stare that image or, or maybe like a large header. But, um, you know, what else is there? Flyers, um, in-person events where you exchange business cards, things like that, maybe a book, maybe you read a book and you like the author and you contact the author for something. Traditional PR has its place. And again, it, you know, works for some people. But most of the traditional PR is meant to basically give you the piece of information. Let's say you went to a traditional seminar or networking event and, you know, a, a conference, for example, and you learn something new, you bring it home. And that's basically what you've taken away from that. Well, now a lot of the events that, that have migrated to an online arena also offer you an opportunity to work with every one of those speakers. Not only do they share their knowledge at an event, but they also provide a way to then get a hold of more of their resources and maybe some custom programs that they have. So could that be you? Now let's talk about trading time for money. Think about this. It's a little secret I'm going to share with you. Oh, by the way, there's going to be a free 10 secret cheat sheet I'm going to give you at the end of this episode. So stay tuned. So podcasts is a gold mine. Podcasts are a gold mine. YouTube episodes, anything you record once that can be played over and over and over, downloaded and watched and shared and commented on and posted on other blogs and on social media, it becomes your evergreen digital asset. This is like crypto in the PR world, honestly. You record it once and it keeps growing in value. In fact, the more time it's out there, the more it's aged like good wine, the more valuable it becomes because people go and look, oh, wow, this episode has already been downloaded 300 times. It must be good. Let me download it as well, right? And you come across as an authority and an influencer right away. Not only you borrow the authority from the host, not only do you appear as an expert in your field because you were interviewed to answer certain questions or discuss a certain topic in which you're obviously an expert, not only do people get to hear you and see you if it is an, a video episode, they get to know what you're like if they click with you. You bypass all four initial stages of customer's journey. Awareness. You just built awareness that you exist and that you have a business and you have an offer. No like and trust factor. You develop that probably within the two, what, 30 seconds to two minutes of starting an episode. They already know if they, if they like you. If they are still watching the episode, they probably like you. Okay. There are many, many other ways that we increase our digital footprint in this day and age. And podcasts, shows, summits, online events, writing for a magazine, writing for a blog are just a few. In my other content, I cover all of that in detail. So do subscribe to my channel and my social media. I release a lot of educational information on this topic. And as a podcast and show host, I know a lot of little tips and tricks. So I put this little downloadable for you. It's called 10 things you need to do before, during, and after a podcast or show 
to rock it, to be a podcast rock star and to generate leads because th this is a gold mine for business owners. You come across as an expert in your field and because you have an offer and you have a service that will be complementary to the information you shared, people will want to work with you. What if you didn't give them that little hook? How would they find you? What if they want to work with you? You just lost that opportunity if you didn't give them that invitation. But of course, there's a science to it. There's a strategy to it. Some people do it wrong. And then, you know, a year goes by and they go, oh, nobody ever contacts me from all my appearances. Well, yeah, it's not as simple as just showing up and sharing your story. There is a strategy. Get a hold of me. I'll, I'll tell you what the strategy is. It's not something I can share very easily because it's very customized to your business and your offer and your audience. It's very important to know who your audience is. Maybe you're just speaking on the wrong podcast. Maybe if you're talking about parenting and you're speaking with people who go to Home Depot and are looking for renovations and solutions for real estate, maybe, you know what I mean? There's an, an obvious mismatch. So there is some thought to be put into where you speak, how you speak, the content of your speech, how you present yourself, your setup, your video, your audio. It's very important to really check all those boxes off. And a lot of people, a lot of people flop. And that's okay. Maybe you flop a few times and then you get feedback. It's very, very important to get feedback. In my program, I give people feedback. Other people give them feedback. Without feedback, we will never, ever get better. We will never improve. So if you're not one of those people that likes feedback, it's okay too. You can watch your own episodes and you can improve just by that, by doing that. All right, so where can you find this downloadable? You can go to Bitly. Everybody knows Bitly, B-I-T dot L-Y and look at 10 pod tips. 10 is a number, pod for podcast tips, 10 pod tips, bit.ly, 10 pod tips. It's a cheat sheet with secret strategies, all right? As a host, I've seen it all. <laughs> As a podcast and YouTube show watcher and listener, I also know what holds people's attention and what doesn't. You want people to stay till the end of your episode, right? So download that cheat sheet, bit.ly slash 10 pod tips, get in touch, subscribe to our channel, learn more tricks, learn more tips. We have a Facebook group called Pay It Forward Support and Connections, where people who are looking to get themselves in front of more audiences and make a greater impact hang out. It's a close knit community where we support one another. We do referrals, we exchange testimonials, we offer freebies to each other. We're building that online presence. We're announcing other opportunities to each other. I put an opportunities in there all the time where people can be, where they can speak, events. I organize events at least twice a year where you're welcome to speak on. And then you can say that you've been featured on Positive TV Summit. We have mental health summits and so on. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing. You can just go check me out. So my encouragement to you, grow your confidence, grow your digital footprint, go ahead and make that positive impact on the world because I know you can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This episode has been brought to you by Positive Impact TV, YouTube show, podcast, and magazine featuring impact makers, change makers, people who want to impact the lives of others for the better and make this world a better place. So are you ready to make an investment in yourself? Become a pro at podcast lead generation. Be booked to speak twice a week, cover a hundred stages a year and exponentially explode your digital footprint so that you can then serve people who reach out to you for years to come. No more onesies. Let us multiply your positive impact.